Well, hi there, and welcome back to Christopher's Corner with me, Christopher Michaels, AKA Who's Your Chubby, and uh, Storms over here. He insisted on being in this video, even though I told him I could handle it all on my own, of course, but well, I thought I'd let him just to make him happy. I right, Storm? I don't think that's how I'll that give you happened. a dollar, shut up, play along. So today we're going to be unboxing a new snack box called Snack Crate. Hopefully you can see that. What's neat about this one is that it's international snacks and I picked for sweet and salty snacks so that we can try them. And it said my first box would be from England. Storm has been to England. Twice. How nice for Storm. Mm -hmm. so Salt Tower of London and the London Eye and Stonehenge and there was a dolly exhibit that was going on and we got to see like a lot of his paintings and these cool statues there's like this elephant with these long skinny like giraffe legs it was really cool two hours later and then we went to the aquarium and we got to pet like manta rays and then we saw Buckingham Palace and the Kensington Gardens and three hours later all kinds of great stuff. It was a lot of fun. I've been to Canada once. We rode the tube. It was neat. On the Virgin flight, on the way back, there was like no one there. So we all had like rows of seats to ourselves. It was so cool. How nice for you, Storm. I'm sure all my viewers and I are thrilled for you. Haven't had a traditional English breakfast since, but mmm, that was tasty. I had... Canadian food. Well, anyway, let's get on to it, shall we? <laughs> okay, so this is the inside of the box. Hopefully you can all see it. We've got a little different setup here tonight. So hopefully you can see all this good stuff, but if not, you'll see it in a minute. Here, Stone, you take over. I'm gonna relax for this video and let him do all the work. We have something to tell you. An item was unavailable <gasps> at the time of packing your snack crate. Good news! I'm canceling already! We included a special snack to make up for the missing item. Mystique brought me her toy. She really did. It's so sweet of you, Mystique. Thank you, dear. Good girl, Mystique. I'll just get rid of it. She's going after. Okay. Snack crate! The UK. Hmm? It's got a bulldog and a bowler. That's how you know it's English. You mean there's bulldogs in here? Yes, they're delicious. They're sweet and salty. Yes. And look, there's a bee feeder. Mm-hmm. Yeah. They're really, they're fun. Bee feeder. Mm-hmm. And Stonehenge, yeah, I was there. Oh, Big Ben, yeah, I was there too. Show everybody what a bee feeder is, because I wouldn't know what the hell a bee feeder was. This guy. They guard the Tower of London. They call them bee feeders. Just in case. Yeah. Not close enough. Because if the, if the crow, no, is it the crows or the ravens? I think it's the ravens. If the ravens ever leave the Tower of London, then England will fail. And that's why they clip the wings of the ravens so they can't leave. That's cruel. It's cheating, but it works. All right, let's see. Aren't those all the crows that committed suicide when Trump showed up? Ravens, and no. Okay. Uh, let's see. Fun facts. Every day, people drink 165 million cups show of tea the, in the show UK. Them first, and then you can... It's got some fun facts and everything about the UK. Uh, all kinds fun of different... Facts. Fun fact. Information and that kind of thing. So it kind of tells you about the uh, the location where your snacks are from, which is kind of cool. So some history, some culture. Uh, and Big Ben, interestingly, is not the clock. It's the bell. I dated him. Yeah, yeah. He it, wasn't so big. Uh, and then it also looks like it has a list of the things oh, that are I don't want to know yet. I don't want to know yet. So that's cool. Don't look. That's cheating. I don't even mean it's cheating. I want to see if you go, this was not in England. I, I want to make sure that what they give you is We will when English. we go through this. Fine. So we're going to break the seal. Hang on. Let me get in there. You scared me. So we're breaking the seal. That's a pretty big, I mean, strong seal. I'm going to fold it over so it doesn't reseal. Now, I have to admit, 
The box seems kind of small to me, but it looks like they loaded it pretty good, doesn't it, Storm? You're just as dangerous to seals as killer whales. All right, so Storm, being your the special guest star of my channel, go ahead and pick the first one. You could say that with a little more enthusiasm. Go ahead and pick the first one! Okay, maybe a little less enthusiastic. Go ahead and pick the first one, God damn it. All right, um, well, it looks like they put the salties on the top. Uh, let's go with walkers, which as far as I recall, is the English version of Lay's. They call them walkers over there. That's walkers french fries. Yeah. Okay. So they're ready salted, crispy potato snack. Well, let's try them. We can always reseal them with the bag sucker. Are we trying all of them? I don't know. Do you want to try all or you just want to pick a couple? I just wanted to pick a couple. We'll just pick a couple. All right. Well, let's try one. All right. Well, let's try the french fries. They look like french fries. Why are french they're fries very light. in England? Shouldn't they be in France? Well, um, why would they be here? Actually, kind of take Well, they're the shape of a french fry, but... Kind of tastes like a french fry. I like it. Kind of tastes like a McDonald's fry. But they're like crispy. That has been out for like a day and it's hard. But crispy like a chip. That's good. It's pretty good actually. Alright, I'll pick one. I'll pick one. Alright. Oh, this looks weird. Oh, this is a sweet. Um, fruit salad softies? That's one I haven't heard of. Barrett? Barat? It says no artificial colors and flavors. Uh, experience the tongue twisting world of Barrett for over 150 years. That's what, two years younger than me. Mm -hmm. um, we've been creating fun, wonder, and excitement. So go on, discover your favorite, and make sweet memories. Open that, please. That has some sweet, you know, they have some salty. Well, you certainly cover the salty. I guess there's no sweet in this house. Yeah. They're like a little taffy thing. I can thing. smell them. Yeah. Well, this is what they look like. Is it gum or candy? <laughs> I think it's a candy, but they're very squishy. Yeah. It's like a marshmallow. Yeah, there's no flavor. Well, now there's flavor. Took a couple of bites. This yeah. is pretty good. This is perfect if you have like three teeth left. <laughs> mm. Mm. Yeah, it does take a minute for the flavor to kick in. Yeah, but it's actually pretty good. It's not too sweet, but sweet enough. Mm -hmm. Your turn. Mmm. Ooh. Oh, these are really good, actually. Other people. So this is McVitie's. McVitie's. They're Jaffa cakes. Now, McVitie's is actually known for making digestibles, which are these, like, biscuits or cookies that are actually really tasty. My favorite are the caramel-stuffed ones, and you can find them, like, at um, World Market, that kind oh. of thing. Uh, they normally import them, but they're super good. They're my favorite. Um, along with like Cadbury chocolate and stuff. But um, Jaffa cakes are a little bit different. Jaffa cakes are kind of more like, like a, almost like a kind of a spongy cookie, um, but with a little chocolate on top. They're actually quite tasty. Well, they don't look so good. Yeah. Uh oh. Chocolate came off the top of this one, it stuck to the bottom. I'd be getting double chocolate. Oh no. How terrible. Mm-mm. No? Mm -mm. They're kind of like a lady finger. Mm -mm. There's some kind of fruit in the, the mm, underneath yeah. the chocolate. There's an orange. I don't like orange and chocolate Chocolate together. and orange. Yeah. They're really tasty. Well, those are yours. Mm. <laughs> That's good. Mm -mm. No. <clears throat> See, I figured I would get this box because at my age, shut up, and health, I'm not going to be able to travel the world. So this would be fun because I would actually be able to see what snacks taste like around the world. So, let's go with this one. I mean, what do you really do when you travel? 
You eat. That's what we fat people do. I mean, you look at stuff. Yeah, I look at stuff just before I eat it. And you eat. Okay, so this is Skips, right? That's what it says. And it says light and melty uh, prawn cocktail flavor. That is all yours. <laughs> Enjoy. He does not like uh, fish or seafood or... Seafood belongs where? In, in the sea. In my mouth! That's <laughs> where it belongs! In the sea. Last time I checked, we don't live in the ocean. Mm-mm. -mm. Well, if I ever get those shoes on you, we'll go to the ocean. That's like if sharks came on land and started picking people off. That's just not fair. Okay, this mm. smells really bad. I'm sure. Smell it. No. Smell it. No. Smell it. I don't want to smell a prong. No, it smells like paint. It doesn't smell like a prong. I'm frightened. This is what it looks like. Kind of like a four-leaf clover, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, here we go. At first it was good. <laughs> we'll just seal this up for company. Wanna try it? Go ahead and try it. We're trying different things. Company we don't like, I suppose. <laughs> Your turn. Uh, let's see. Tastes very artificial. No. Doesn't taste like something you should be eating. Well. It's like when a little kid puts something in their mouth and it's like, you know, and they realize they've done something wrong. Hmm. We don't have to try everything, but just I'm, pick something. Okay, fine. Well, I don't trust Barat anymore with his marshmallow fruit flavor. I think that's what they call M&Ms over there. Oh, well, that might be interesting to try. Smarties? Let's try that. Everybody. So, Smarties. Now, Smarties over here are basically the cross between, like, a Tums and a Netco wafer or something. Oh, that sounds delicious. You know those little things that are like, they're wrapped and you bite and they're crunchy and they're like kind of tangy. You get them at Halloween, like people buy them. They're in the, the Halloween candy bag, but no one really wants to eat. Smarties. Is it Smarties? Same I guess I've thing. never had them. Yeah, You've never had Smarties. Well, Christopher, I think you need to put a picture of Smarties right about here so people know what we're talking about. Okay. Yeah, just right here in this, okay. this area. Will be a great place to put it. Um, but yeah, we have them here, but this looks completely different. So maybe England has better Smarties than we do. Well, I went with the fish snack. You go Let's with see. this one first. This is Nestle. I'm assuming that's chocolate. It looks like an M&M. It does look like an M&M. Let me give them a and it, uh, it could be bogey flavor. I didn't flavor. think I would need the other camera, but now I'm thinking I made a mistake. So... Okay. Could be booger flavored. We don't know. You ready? One, two, three. Mm. It's chocolate. Oh, I don't like it. It it's tastes like your Cadbury. Well, I yeah. don't like Cadbury. Did you know that people who are used to eating regular chocolate, like from Europe, to to them, uh, Hershey's actually smells and tastes like vomit. Because yeah, I can see that. There's a there's an acid that they yeah. put in it. it. Starts with a B. I want to say it's like beryllic or beryllic, beryllic or something like that. Um, and that's the same acid that's in vomit. So they literally mix it in. I guess it's a preservative or something. I don't know. But when they taste our chocolate, they go. Mm, Suddenly, bleh. I'm not so hungry for these anymore. Mm. They're pretty good. If you like Cadbury, you'll love them. Mm. Hey, oh my pick, my pick. Yeah. Ooh, blackjack. The, the candy shells are a little thicker. Blackjack. 21! This is... I want to make sure it's not a gun. No, what was that? Hit you? What no, was that? I saw it. Hit you again? Uh, no artificial colors and flavors. And May 2021. I was a little worried there for a minute. And let's see what this is. If I can get it open. Ooh. It's in a black wrapper. I can get it. There we go. Yeah. Oh, this looks like, uh, what are those candies you like? Like a Starburst. Starburst, that's it. All right, so this is what it looks like in the wrapper. I swear to God, if this is licorice. It could be. Is no, it black? that's licorice. Is it? 
I'm gonna go ahead and put that right here. Yeah, that's the curse. Ugh. Your favorite. Holly, I'll send you these. She likes licorice. Mmm. Well, let's put that right there. Okay. Pick. Well, the things I do for you people. You made him eat licorice. That's hilarious. Next time, hopefully we get a box from Iceland, and then I can make him eat the fermented shark fins. I would try. What's that? Show the Chill out. We recommend putting this pack in the fridge for three hours before enjoying. Oh, well, show everybody. No idea what it is. Should we put it in the fridge for three hours? Can you open it and then look and then put it in it? I suppose. Uh, Although it could be like gremlins and you're not supposed to feed it after midnight and then we'll have all kinds of evil demonic green creatures running around killing people and... Someone's dad's gonna get trapped in the chimney and oh, ruin Christmas. Oh, enough about our neighbors. Ugh, it's terrible. Okay, maybe that was a mistake. Good lord, what did they seal this with? Like pine sap? Oh, it's all the chocolates. Perfect. Oh. A whole bunch of different chocolates, too. Can I show everybody? Uh, yeah, I guess. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. This I'm not gonna eat. <laughs> this I mean, was something they froze. Um, oh you go ahead. All right. Well, now we don't need to refrigerate this. We've got mm. crunchy, mm. crunchy, crunchy. I wonder if it's soft. You no, know, it feels crunchy. Double decker. Ooh. Just like the bus. Yeah. Probably. Obviously, it's that. heavy. You heard that, right? Then we have flake. Flake. I love flake, especially when they put it in like ice cream or something. That's the best. Uh, we have lion. Oh, that was a lion. I, I figured. We have fudge. How aptly named. <laughs> and then we have boost. Do you know any of these other than the one? Um, no. Although some of them look like they're Cadbury. Um, we're not gonna try these because, um, <laughs> we'd be up for 10 weeks. Um, but we can't put them in the refrigerator, I guess. Yep, yeah, stick them in here. Yeah. But I wanted to show you all, uh, what the, what's in here. So that's kind of fun, that's neat. Now the cool thing is they this actually good. looks like real, real candy bars from there. Yeah. And the well, they're supposed to be. Well, yeah, because sometimes they'll go like, oh, well, like, for example, I think it was Percy or Nestle actually bought, like, Cadbury here in the States. And so when you have, like, a Cadbury chocolate, it's actually made with Nestle chocolate, so it's not the real tasting chocolate. But this actually looks like the real stuff, so I'm excited about that. Especially Cadbury. I love Cadbury chocolate. That's important. And you can tell it's important because if you look at the nutritional facts, it actually says... K cal instead of cal for calories. So in the metric system, they actually call it kilocalories because it's a thousand calories. But we just call it a calorie here because why the fuck not? We use Fahrenheit and all kinds of yards and bullshit. All right, so I've picked one and it's millions and it's strawberry flavor and it's little, little things. Little things, Storm. Go ahead and open that up and we'll try the little pinky. You know, I'm I'm thinking maybe hundreds at best, and we're talking low hundreds, but I guess anything for marketing. Hey, there's no tabby thing. Oh, well, there's like a little tab that you pulled apart with. Hang on. No, wait. Maybe it's over here. I can just see this. I try to open it. Maybe you should open everywhere. it over the box. All right, you know what? Using the knife. There we go. Oh, wow. All right, here, try. Try, no, just, oh, you're just gonna try one. Yeah, I'm not stupid. I don't know if you can see, no, you can't see. It's that. just a little tiny, like. It looks like a popcorn kernel. It looks like pop. a little tiny piece of marzipan or something. Hmm, they're crunchy and then they're chewy. And they taste very strawberry. They do. No, it tastes like a strawberry milkshake. It does, yeah. Mm. 
They get really gummy. If there's any left, I'll take a picture. Mm. Made with real fruit juice. That's pretty cool. This is really good. I like these. Yeah, I like these. Despite the numerical inaccuracy, they're very tasty. Next, your pick. Hmm. Well, the more I chew of that, the better it gets. Mm -hmm. Very like strawberry. Sweet. And then like a little more tangy. Mm -hmm. You'll be well, out. there's a lot in this box. There is. A lot of variety. All right, well, I love bacon. This is called Frazzles. It says it's bacon. Let's put that to the test, shall we? Right after strawberry candy. Mm. Crispy bacon, flavor corn snacks. So it's crispy bacon, flavor, corn snacks. That's how they put it on here. Is it anything like the uh, shrimp cocktail? Uh, well, at least it's a terrestrial food. Let's see here. Something I mean, tells me it's not kosher. Kind of looks like bacon. Don't we give those to Mystique? I mean, kind of. Oh, it does smell like bacon, just like her treats. Oh, it really does smell like bacon. Oh my gosh, so good. Mm. Oh my gosh. It tastes like bacon on a cornbread biscuit. I just taste bacon. Because I can definitely taste bacon the corn. Bacon and jerky. Yeah, I, can, I can definitely taste the corn part of it. But it kind of tastes like bacon in corn grits. Like, it's really good. It's like bacon and grits. That's what it tastes like. I would buy this ship. This is sense. really good, actually. Mmm. Mmm. Yeah, that's good. It's probably a good thing they don't sell these here. We all be 100 <laughs> pounds fatter. <laughs> really? Mm. Okay, so these are jammy Dodgers. Mm -hmm. Raspberry. I've never heard of them, but I've never heard of anything in this box, and that's what's cool about it. Here, so let me do the hard work. Jammy Dodgers. The reason I'm not opening them, and he will attest to this, I have a way of opening things and they go everywhere. So. <laughs> what is it, a cookie? Uh, yeah, it's like, um. So much for not trying everything, right, folks? Like a shortbread that has been glued into the package, apparently. We have a bag sucker, which is a lifesaver. Thank Ooh. God we bought it. And so we can put these in there and reseal them. Oh my, look at that. Bag sucker. It feels like, that sounds like something you put in an aquarium. It's a, it's whatever. A food it is. saver. Food saver. Vacuum sealing I system. call it suck -a -lux. So this is it, it's a cookie. It's got some jelly in this. Oh yeah, raspberry, right? Shortbread cookie with uh I usually love shortbread. Mm -hmm. He usually doesn't, so this will be interesting. Here's, here's the thing with these. They're normally like, cookie! Little bit of jam. So maybe they'll actually have a better, no. Why bother putting the jam if you're only going to put a dot? Like, yeah. I want this to look like a peanut butter sandwich. Where it's I like, like it. Like, cookie, jam, cookie. There needs to be at least a two to one ratio of cookie to jam. That's not enough. At least two to one. But I I like um, I like shortbread cookies, so. Well, I actually should have just shared one, because this is a lot. <laughs> Pretty good. Don't really taste the jam a lot, though. Oh, well, there's hardly any. Needs there. more jam. But the jam is good. That you can taste. It's good. Oh, that's good jam. Uh, no. It really tastes like. What? I was going to say the re us eating the rest of it. But no, it's fine. You can eat it. Mm. I don't want to bore everybody. You could play some elevator music. I'm not going to do any more just in case. That's pretty good. Well. Oh, no. You don't like it? I, it's just too much. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> While you eat that, I'll show these little ones. And then some hard candies came in it. Juicy Chews. Which tells me they probably have a juice in the center or something. So, got some of these. Got, got, looks like four of them. And this one is uh, 
Maynard Bassett's, or I guess that's the name of them. May contain milk. Hmm. You want to try one? Um, juicy, ju oh wait, they're squishy. They really are a Oh, chew. what the hell, you try the red one, I'll try the orange. All right. Do this right before bed. It'll just take us a minute. Oh, oh. this is what it looks like. Hmm. Looks like the um, the There's softies. stuff in it. Can you see that? <laughs> it takes a minute, but there's eventually some flavor. It's kind of like a a juice stuffed taffy. Too lemon for me. I don't like lemon. Feel free to finish that. <laughs> Wouldn't it be orange or yellow? I don't know what it is. I just don't like it. Don't get me wrong. I'm enjoying this. This is fun. Oh, that's orange, all right. Is it orange? Mm-hmm. Wham originals with sour crystals. Mm. It's another barat. We're not gonna try these unless you want to, but probably later. The real McCoys, ridge cut Thai sweet chicken, like uh, chicken on a biscuit. But <gasps> they make a salt and malt vinegar. Oh, that would have been good. I'll try that. Let's try it. All right, we can seal it. What the hell? In for a penny, in for a pound. <laughs> That was terrible. That would be 10 quid, please. I don't know what a quid is. Bad joke, police. Come on. 10 quid, sir. Cough <laughs> it up. It's not what I mean. I That's disgusting. It up. Oh, bloody yanks. <laughs> All right, let's see. Uh, <laughs> well, they we'll cut do them. It at the same time. They cut them thick. It smells weird like the other thing did. There you go. Holy shit. We'll have to finish it now, don't I? It actually tastes like a lot of basil, and yet there is like a ch an actual hint of chicken in there. That's freaky. I hate it and I like it at the same time. Is there the actual first chicken in it? Taste was like, Ugh. but then it got flavorful. Paprika, that makes sense because it's Thai. The natural flavors, tomato, acids. I wouldn't buy that. <laughs> That's weird. How can it taste like chicken and it has no chicken? Oh, wait. Thai sweet chicken flavor, which is sugar and flavorings. Very descriptive. Thank you. Very, very nice. All right. I'm going to pick one more and then you can pick some. Oh, oh this is terrible. I'm trying to read this upside down. Time. What is this? Uh, this actually says... Oh God, curry worry. I say, curly whirly. Curly whirly. It's from Cadbury. Oh, is it? Yeah. It's uh, probably a chew. We'll just put that there. It felt like those candies you used to nope, like. Nope, it's are milk chocolate with a caramel center. Oh. Cool. Mine. Okay, you pick one. Uh, well, I was curious as to what this is. Barat more. Show up Sherbert with a licorice dip. All yours. Oh, wait. Or oh, Holly's. What? Holly, yeah. Man. Holly, you're going to be getting some licorice, I guess. <laughs> but it came all the way from the UK. So it's very nice. Well, how do you do this? It's like one of those fun dippers where it's got like, you know, the little white stick that you lick and you dip it in the powder. Only in this case, you dip it in a sherbet powder, but you lick the licorice. Should we demonstrate it to people? No. Okay. No, because that would involve putting it on our tongues. No. Sorry, folks, I had a little technical difficulty. My alarm went off and I shut off the recording. But uh, we tried that licorice and it was just delicious, yeah. right, Storm? Yeah. Super good. Ain't all, good. see? Oh, I love it's all left. gone, darn. I, 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 I guess we I, can't, I, like, you know, good. eat it in front of you now. Darn. Oh, uh, oops. Oopsie. Sorry you missed out. This is wine gums, so I'm thinking it's a gum, but I don't know. <laughs> what is it, Storm? Uh, fruit flavored gums. Oh. Well, we're not going to chew gum for you folks. I mean, you know what gum is. It's Maybe got the actual end. sulfites in it. 
Isn't that what they have in wine? Maybe yes. it's like actually got yes. real wine in it. Well, we'll try it after we're done. Wine gums. It'll be what we go out on, huh? Hmm. Um, you want to pick one? Isn't that what you get when you, like, use, like, sh Cabernet instead of Listerine? I have no idea. Wine gums? I've never really been a big wine taster. And then the wines that I do like are white because the red actually makes my heart go a little crazy. So. Okay. Pick one. Fun fact. Fun fact. All right. Um, actually, let's try this one. We got Walkers again. Right there. Yeah. Walkers. But this one is Worcester sauce. Okay. Which actually, Worcester sauce is actually quite good. Lee and Perrin's is what we buy. What do I, I use it in? I don't know. Do I use it in that pork chop recipe? I don't know. I think that's what I use it in. I stay out of the kitchen. Here. Okay, it looks like a normal everyday potato chip. It smells like Worcester sauce. Yeah, it does. Ready? All right, here we go. Mmm. That one's savory. That's yours. <laughs> it actually tastes just like Worcester yeah, sauce. Yeah, it sure does. It tastes like it's on a potato. Like yeah, it's all good. Mm. That's pretty good. Yeah, that's yours. I like that. I have enough. Okay. Okay. Well, what you got? <clears throat> Big hoops. Well, just uh, like the earrings hoops. you wear. Yeah, right. Okay. Here, I'll try to open one. I did it. Oh my god, I would have loved these as a kid. I would have put them on my fingers like rings. Did y'all used to do that with your trumpets? I do. Yeah, <laughs> with your trumpets. I used to put them on my fingertips when I was a kid. That was a mistake. What is that? I should have known not to trust something that you just hand me to put in my mouth. Oh, barbecue beef, it says. Beef? That's what it says. What the fuck kind of beef do they eat in England? Because that's disgusting. I mean, it does kind of have like a... Like a Salisbury steak kind of taste. But... Well, I hate Salisbury steak, so... It's just... It's wrong. It's just not good. It's just wrong. <laughs> like when they say, like, there's no barbecue. That's the problem. Like, yeah, there's... if there's a little sweetness to it, that might help. Like a barbecue sauce. But there's no barbecue. It's literally just beef. It's like, it's kind of like a dog yes. snack. Yes, it's like beef uh, broth. You know the little cubes you buy and you put them in the yeah. water? We just That's put some beef bouillon in our mouth. But it doesn't taste good yeah. in, a, in a potato yeah. chip cracker. Not, not good. Not good. No. What if you doing? like it, if you like it, don't put this ring on it. Yeah. They won't, yeah. they won't, in, they won't appreciate it. Now, I hope we're not insulting anybody from England if they're watching. And they're like, <laughs> you know, how dare you bastards. <laughs> but, uh, you know. We're... You think you're international. That's yeah, adorable. Actually, I am. I am. <laughs> Munster Munch. Pickled onion. <laughs> A pickled onion. No way. First of all, I don't know what a pickled onion would taste like. Well, you're going to find out. I know what pickled cucumbers taste like. They yeah, taste a lot pickles. like pickles. Yeah. Hey, I did another one with that. Oh, they're cute. They're like little M's yeah. for Munster. Well, I think that one's broken. Is it? Because I think they're supposed to be like a... A whole thing. Oh, well, I thought mine was better with the whole Emma for a monster. Okay, this ready? is kind of like a differently shaped Funyun. Well, here we go. All right, here we go. It's like a Funyun with a little bit of pickle juice. <laughs> yeah, like Funyun with a little bit of vinegar. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's not bad. No, yeah, I like it. And being it's from Lay's, they probably, it's the same, um, probably the same Funyun formula to actually make them. So. Okay, cool. Well, you do the last one. It's funny how certain things are called different names, I guess, for regions. Like Edie's Ice Cream. On the East Coast, it's Edie's, but here it's Dryer's. Who the hell wants dry ice cream? It's stupid. You want Edie's because you want to eat it. 
Best Much foods better. mayonnaise here is called uh, Helms or something? Hellman's. Hellman's. Yeah, Hellman's. Or like out here, it's Carl's Jr. But it's Hardee's out there. Yeah. Like, same place. You eat Hardy. Who the hell wants to eat Carl Jr.? Like, I mean, and when here is Kroger's out in the Midwest. So. Oh. Mm -hmm. But it's Winco, same store. All right. Can I didn't know that? I thought Kroger was more like a Publix. Because they never ever say anything. If you notice, like... there's a lot of. Uh, it must be owned by Costco, maybe, because they have a lot of Kroger's. But anyway, it's Kroger's there. No. And unless I've got it wrong, it's been a while since I've lived there. If I've got it wrong, let me know, Minnesota. Yeah, put it down in the comments yeah. and let them know how incorrect he is. We had Kroger's in Georgia. We took a field trip to Kroger's, and they put all of like the first or second graders in the freezer, which in hindsight was probably a really bad idea. Well, that explains a lot. <laughs> they were like, hey, kids, this is where we store the meat. That could have gone terribly okay, wrong now that I think about it. All right, this is Space Raiders. It is also... Oh, it's all aliens. It is also pickled onion, oh. but it's an alien head. I think it's the same thing as the monster thing. Okay, here we go. Hmm. It's a little puffier. A little more vinegar. I like them. I love vinegar. I don't. Mm, it's good. I like that. Oh, there's a smoky taste. I don't taste There's the smoky, a smoky taste. aftertaste, which I don't like. Huh. I like them. I'll have them. Okay, well, that's it. All right. Yeah, that is that is all Let's of it. Let's try that gum, shall we? Let's see if there's anything we missed. Um, oh, if you get a Snack Crate Plus, you also get mm -hmm. a drink. Well, this, this crate's a little expensive. Oh, okay. Um, You get your first box for $25, so I signed right up thinking that's what the monthly was. Oh. Afterwards, I noticed that this size one is fifty dollars. What? Month. Yeah, and so I'm trying to decide. I haven't made my mind if it's worth it. It is fun to eat them and stuff like that. Yeah. And I've gotten rid of so many subscription boxes, or they've gotten rid of me because, gee, I'm honest, I can afford it. So I might get one more just to see, because I love the idea of trying something different that I'm not going to get probably here. I'm curious as to what they said was replaced. Maybe the onions, that's why we got two of them? Maybe. Oh, it might have been this one. What is it? It's a chocolate, and it was called Marvelous Creations, which was a milk chocolate bar from Cadbury. So, of course, I would have eaten it. Uh, but it was filled with jellies, a popping candy, and candy shells. Yeah, you would have eaten that. So, basically, eaten it's... that? He would have eaten that. Yeah, he would have. Wrong accent. You should do it in a Cockney accent. Eaten that? He would have eaten that. He would have eaten that. Yeah. Um, yeah. It's crispy and poppy, I guess. Because um, all I the other ones can't imagine how they ran out. What did we get that was special? I really thought when I got the box in the mail that that's not worth fifty dollars every month, but they got a lot in this box, so I'm impressed. It's a good sampler. And of course, all the stuff's on the screen, and it'll be in the description part of this. Um, video of how you can order your own. They have different sizes. They have a smaller box. <laughs> I knew us. And I was like, get the big box. Oh, yeah, the mini box. Yeah, the yeah. little mini boxes. So they do have different sizes. So if you're like someone who lives alone or something and you just want to, uh, uh, there's different prices. I'll have it all listed down below. Don't worry. All right, let's try that gum and end this there. because it's getting late. Which was the gum? Oh, crap. Was there gum? Mm -hmm. I don't yes. remember there being gum. Yes, because it says gum, right? Oh, the here. wine gums. They're wine gummies. Gums. They're not gum. Whatever they are. We're gonna, oh, that was easy to. Oh. oh, look at that. Yeah, they're gummies. They're different cor colored little. Yeah, like one's probably a Cabernet or. Can you see that? I hope you can see a that. A Riesling. Next time I'll have the other camera hooked up. I apologize. I really didn't think I'd need to. Um, but anyway, different colors. The black is probably licorice. Whoa. I'm gonna take the red one because I, I like red usually. I'll take an orange. I like orange and lime. Here, go ahead. Oh, just the hand. Okay, you're right, sure. Well, I almost dropped it doing this. It's got a nice little design on it, but I don't know what it is. <laughs> so it's like a gumdrop, I guess. Mm hmm. How is it? 
I thought it was gum. Still chewing it, but nothing's falling apart yet. <laughs> it's kind of like a like a lifesaver gummy, but it kind of has an alcoholy like tannin taste to it. You really gotta keep chewing it to get any flavor out of it. But that's okay. I'm gonna try a black one. I don't think black is licorice, and if it is, I'll be spitting it out. No, yeah, no. licorice wine. Hmm. I actually like it once you chew it down enough to get to the flavor. It's actually quite good. Hmm. If this is what wine tasted like, I could be. Yeah, I'd be drinking all the time. But yeah. Well, you know what, folks, and only a few of you will know. It tastes right. like Boone's Farm wine. Remember that really super sweet when you have no money and it's like two dollars and fifty cents for a big bottle. Some of you out there know who I'm, what I'm talking about. Is that like a it's, ripple? I don't know. I just know that it tastes very much like kool-aid instead of real wine so it's kind of like a boons farm but i like it it tastes pretty good actually um so that's it for now sorry we didn't try every single thing but you know i mean we almost did we have we we, we were gonna try one or two and now we get to try to go to bed and <laughs> have sugar rushes and heartburn but it was fun i enjoyed it did you enjoy it, it was yeah fun. it was good so I think I'll get at least one more and try it out and see what I get in the next one. Um, so all my information will be below. And of course, my um, Who's Your Chubby? Follow me on all my things, Instagram stuff. That's been on the screen already. My website's either on the screen or has been on the screen already. Um, do you have a website, Storm? I can't remember. I do. It's stormbrown.com. It's very basic. It's something I made kind of like... She's basic. But that's his web page. It's like it, seven years old. And I've he looks never super young it. in it. <laughs> so. um, but um, my web page, his web page, what is it again? Stormbrown.com. And you can follow him on um, YouTube. He hasn't been doing anything with it. But he has a lot of songs that he's done on there. He's a very good singer. Um, and so you can follow him there. And maybe he'll actually get back to the people that have commented. And um, I do like hearing back from my audience. My audience. And when it's an audience of one, sometimes it's a little difficult to hear. Oh my God. Anyway, uh, also please click the links below for the Black Lives Matter uh, to show your support there. Things are just getting worse and worse. And then of course it has the vote.org. If you haven't registered to vote, you can very easily. If you wanna make sure your address is correct in there. And then as Storm and I have talked about before, you don't have to rely on the mail system to turn your ballots in, your mail-in ballots. You can take them right to, uh, where, do you, where do you go here? Just the drop-off at the City Hall. City Hall. It's perfectly fine. And and don't listen to the big orange idiot. Don't vote twice. Yeah. First of yeah. all, it's illegal. And second of all, you could, have your, you could have your ballot discounted. So yeah. just do your mail-in ballot like you're supposed to do. And maybe he'll get all of his people disqualified or something. I don't know. He did that today. I actually watched the video of him telling everybody, go ahead and vote uh, with your ballots and then go in and vote in the actual booths. Because that way um, I can test the system and see if it's accurate. That's ridiculous. So anyway, um, don't do that. And then there is a tracking thing, which linked. it's linked down below that Storm found. And it tracks if you do send it in in the mail. You can actually track that little sucker till it gets right where it's supposed to get to be counted. So that's all down below. All those links and a whole bunch of more links. Um, so check it all out, please. And of course, leave comments. If any of you have had these snacks before, I'd love to hear what you think of them. If you get this uh, snack crate, I'd love to know what you think of it. And um, I guess that's it. I think that's it. So of course, wear your mask. Think of yourself. Think of people around you. Think of your loved ones. And if you're one of the people that refuses to wear a mask because it goes against your constitutional right, feel free to unfollow me because we really have nothing to talk about and I really don't want you to follow me. Um, so all that, wear your mask, be safe, be sane, stay healthy, stay happy. And until next time, happy snacking! Hold up that storm. Come on, join in. Join in with this. Too you much begged things. to be on this thing. Did I? All night. You begged. Now I, grab something and hold it up. I must have had amnesia. No, yeah, sure. 
Happy snacking!